Hey guys, it's Haley Ann. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome. I am so jazzed right now because I think I'm slowly starting to figure out how this whole YouTube thing works. I'm just very proud of my lighting setup right now. I think things are looking pretty nice. Although I might take that back when I put all this footage on the computer, but I feel like it looks better. You let me know. Does it look better? Anyways, I was just <laughs> very excited about it. Okay. In today's video, sorry I'm rushing and I look like crap. Like normally I would at least get a little dressed up for you, put on some jewelry, something, but I just, I need to hurry up and get ready because I'm going on a date. I, I make it sound like I've never been on a date, but you guys, I promise I've been on a date. I have a boyfriend of over two years. So I was, I, I saw, I needed to collect my thoughts. I saw a picture online of a beautiful girl as I was online shopping. That sounds really weird, not what I meant. One of the models from the website that I was online shopping at, her makeup looked stunning. I was like, yes, I'm all about everything that she stands for. It looks beautiful. It was still kind of natural, but glam at the same time. I will insert the picture right here so you guys know what it is that I'm talking about. I was so inspired. I was like, that would be the perfect date night look. And then my boyfriend texted me during the day and said, hey, I'm picking you up at 7.45. We're going to dinner. I said, yes. I can do my makeup, but I've been rushing because I only had like an hour. It's sad to say that an hour and 30 minutes is not long enough for me but it's not. But we made it here, so I'm rushing and that is it. Make sure you guys are subscribed before you leave and if you wanna see how I achieved this really beautiful, natural-ish, but glam date night look, then please go ahead and keep watching. So naturally, yesterday I was doing something that I shouldn't be doing, aka online shopping. I stumbled across a pic, like a model, and her makeup, I was like, yes. I wanna be her, she looks so pretty. I was like, that would be so nice for a date night. So we're gonna do that right now. I'm gonna try my best here to achieve the same kind of look. I've already done my base, as you can obviously tell. We are gonna go in with a oldie but a goodie, my Lorac Pro palette, the original guy, as you can see. It is well loved. Cream all over my lids just to start off with a uh, base. I know I already put some powder down, but We'll just add this guy too. Then I'm gonna go in with taupe right next to that shade as well. And I'm then going to run that in my crease. And as you can tell from that picture, everything is kind of really concentrated on this outside corner. So I'm gonna try and keep most of any color that I'm putting down over there and then slowly work it in. And it's really difficult for me sometimes because I have two different like lid shapes and two different eye shapes. Honestly, if you look at me hard enough, you would notice. So it's kind of hard for me to make them even all the time. So I'm doing my best. Like I've always said, I am no, um, um, I'm not a makeup artist. I am not a professional, nor do I claim to be one, but I like to think that I've learned a thing or two over my 24 and a half years of life. Learned a thing or two about makeup in the process, so here we are. Then I'm gonna take a more precise crease brush and go in the next darker brown shade, Sable, right here, and keep that on the outer corner just like she has it. Also, you guys, in case I haven't already prefaced it about a hundred times in the beginning of this video, which I'm sure I will, I am really, I'm just, I, I outdid myself with the lighting right now that is happening. I think things are looking incredible, although I won't really know until I upload the footage, but from what I can see in the viewfinder, things are looking pretty nice. So I'm just taking my original fluffy brush and just blending out what I have added without adding any more color, just to keep it very smoky and diffused and not harsh like it's kind of looking. <laughs> I think I need to study my face more often. It's like I've never done eyeshadow even on either side and I'm pretty sure I have never. So if you're with me and you notice that and you're just like wanting to call me out, go ahead, you can call me out. I already know that it's not even most of the time. That's really almost just about it. Do I dare go even a slightly bit darker right here? Maybe. And I would use the espresso shade right next to Sable. So I'm literally just using those three brown tones and I'm gonna take it on a very small brush and just put that right here. And then I'm gonna work that 
in with everything. Wow, that was a lot. I forgot how pigmented this palette is. It's okay, we're saving it. I'm taking the teeny, 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 tiniest bit of sable on my original fluffy brush just to go around everything and further blend what I've done. All right, so that is looking pretty half decent. So now it looks like the inner corner of her eyes or basically that whole entire lid is pretty neutral. It might just be slightly bronzy. So that's what we're gonna do. Champagne from this palette. I'm gonna try and pack it on the inner corner. Actually, I'm gonna do light bronze first. Light bronze is this one right here. So I'm just gonna blend in a little bit of taupe and sable, taupe and sable that we started with, just to marry that shade in with the rest of the eye. I'm gonna tight line my upper water line with my Marc Jacobs highlighter in brownout, I believe. Yeah, brownout. I don't wanna use black in this look because I don't want it to get too harsh, especially on my lighter eyes. And in the picture, it looks like she has a teeny, it looks like she has a wing kind of, but I'm not gonna do a wing. I'm gonna add a little bit of eyeliner and kind of smudge it out to give the same sort of effect. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows, put on an eyelash right now, and I will be right back. For the lashes, as you can see, they're pretty long on me, but these are the Salon Perfect 614 eyelashes. I'm really going back and forth on whether or not I really want to tight line my lower lash line. I never do that because my eyes are already so tiny, so I don't think I'm going to. <laughs> Feel free to tight line your lower lash line, your waterline, if you normally do do that or if you like that look. I'm going to actually take the espresso shade on a little flat definer brush and fake myself some eyeliner just on the outer part of my eye and I'm keeping that really really tight to the lash line as well I'm going to blend that out I'm gonna take the taupe shade just a little bit on the end of that and just fluff everything out underneath on the lower lash line. And then for me personally, I'm gonna go in with a nude liner in my waterline on the bottom to try and give myself a more wide eye, bigger eye effect. I actually am really rushing because I am going on a date, so hair is going to the wayside as it usually does. I'm contouring with my usual Anastasia contour powder kit. This is the Tarte Park Ave Princess Amazonian Clay Matte Bronzer. I'm gonna keep my blush a little bit more neutral today, and so this is my Too Faced Love Flush 16 Hour Blush in Baby Love. And for highlight, this won't be new to anyone unless you're new here, and this is the Smashbox Casey Holm highlight. I'm so weird about my lips, so I'm sorry this is about to be so extra, but I'm going to line my lips with my ColourPop Lippy Pencil and Oh Snap. Say it with me because I do it all the time. Do you guys remember the video? If you are an OG, you remember the video where this whole entire audacious lipstick, no, Be Legendary lipsticks from Smashbox in audition broke. This is like still one of my all-time favorite lipsticks. So I'm still gonna use it. And I'm gonna top that with my beloved Marc Jacobs Love Buzz Gloss. All right, you guys, so that completes this date night makeup look that was inspired by my online shopping habit and seeing a model that I think is stunning. I don't even remember where, what, I, what website I was shopping on because I've made so many purchases in the past two days. It's sick, it's sick. Someone stop me. I really need to hurry up. My boyfriend's gonna be here. So that wraps us up. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will talk to you guys very soon in my next one. Bye guys.